name's Ramin Javadi, and we're in my studio in Santa Monica, where I write all the music for Game of Thrones. I started out on the organ when I was four years old, and then when I was 13, I picked up the guitar, and that's when I really got serious about music and started practicing a lot. And it was the movie The Magnificent Seven, Elmer Bernstein's score, triggered something in me and the recognizable themes that you could hum when you turned off the film. I knew that that's what I wanted to be, a film composer. The beauty about music in film is that without any dialogue on the screen, you are able to guide the audience. And with Game of Thrones, we're able to guide the audience either in the right direction or the wrong direction, and that's something that's been fun. By moods or by playing a certain theme, you're able to tell a story. The biggest challenge was just finding the right tone for the show, that when you hear the score, that you know this is Game of Thrones. From the beginning, we knew we wanted themes, but we also knew that we couldn't have too many themes right away, because there's obviously a lot of characters, there's a lot of different houses, there's a lot of plots. And if you convoluted too soon, I think it actually would have been confusing for the audience. So we actually, on purpose, held off with themes for certain characters. For example, Theon, or the Greyjoy theme, didn't exist until season two. Arya, for example, we used the Stark theme for her, but she also has her own theme once she got on her own. In Game of Thrones, we always laugh because every season we sit down and we say, okay, which instrument haven't we used yet? <laughs> Most of the orchestral instruments I've used, so strings, French horns, trombones, percussion, the didgeridoo we used for the wildling, so that's kind of an interesting instrument that's different. There's an Armenian duduk that we used for the Dothrakis. It's like an ethnic version of an oboe, basically. When I start working on a scene, I just watch the scene without even playing. I try to hear the tempo in my head, and once I have that, I can play long. I now proclaim Cersei of the House Lannister, protector of the Seven Kingdoms. I usually start writing on one instrument first. It can be piano, it can be a string pad. I sketch out the scene, and then once I feel I have the right shape, then I go back and then I start arranging and orchestrating the scene, and then I add all the different layers of instrumentation. While the episode is still edited, everything just stays in the computer and everything is just done digitally. And once the picture is locked, then I go in and actually record it with real musicians. And I feel that's the most rewarding thing. I still get goosebumps when I hear them play the music. I just get huge inspiration from just seeing the sets, from just seeing how epic everything is. And then meeting the actors, that's inspiration for me as well. Just standing on the side and just watching. I want to just go back to the studio right away and start writing. This is the piece from episode 610, this long build-up of Cersei's trial. The interesting thing about this piece is that this is actually the first time in Game of Thrones history that we used the piano. So the minute that plays, the audience immediately is alerted and they'll go, wait, we have never heard this instrument before. This something is not right. So the piece plays on. It starts out very minimal and it slowly builds over, I think the piece is six and a half minutes, seven minutes long. The next element that comes in are two boys singing. When you see the kids with the knife in the hand and then a Picel gets stabbed, that's when it switches to the organ and that's when the choir comes in. That's really the next step up of when you realize, wow, this is all going wrong right now. And now the piece is really starting to build. And more instruments come in and the organ gets busier and then the orchestra actually doesn't come in until the very end. This section is actually interesting because I actually snuck in the main title theme. So you can hear it right here. I go, okay, now I really have to do something that I haven't done before. The show definitely takes it up another notch every season. Even though whenever I think it's not possible, they still are able to elevate it yet another notch. And so I got to do the same with the music. 